Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I want to thank all of you that have taken the time to subscribe to the channel. Also hit that like button, that really helps me out. This video is going to be a continuation of where I'm comparing the residential zero turn mowers. In this video specifically, we're going to be looking at Cup Cadet and Steel mowers. We're also going to be taking a look at an Xmark uh, series of, of mowers. So let's get started. First off, we're going to be taking a look at Cup Cadet. All right, first, first up, we got the Cup Cadet ZT1 42 inch deck. The website says this is $34.99, but you can see that it said $36.99 for sale here. And at first glance, it looked like it had a stamp, I mean, a fabricated deck, but as I looked closer, I could see it was actually a stamped deck and the edges were folded down and welded to give it the appearance that it's a fabricated deck. But I do like the way this looks. Everything looked really good. You notice those headlights on the front there that I noticed. Uh, the handle felt really good, high quality. I'm looking at things like the welds. I noticed the dial indicator height adjuster is knob is on the left side. Usually it's on the right side on most models. And it's got a nice roll cage on the back. I like the way it's open and free, easy to get to. This one had the Kawasaki FR600V engine. Online it says that this model comes with the 22 horsepower Kohler, but as you can see, this one had the 18 horsepower FR600. Very small battery inside. I do like how it's laid out, easy to get to. Everything's easy to get to. You can see that battery is so small that the it doesn't fit the original stamping out of the deck made for the battery, but I like how the exhaust is, you know, got plenty of room. I, I like how the exhaust is away from the engine the way it is. Hydro gear, transmissions, Warner clutch, that's very common. These transmissions are good. These are residential grade. Hydro, hydrostatic transmissions. Overall, I really like the welds. Everything looked really good. I like the, the fit and the finish of everything. It looked very strong, very durable. I like the instrument panel, the throttle of the layout was just very comfortable. I'm just looking at things like the welds and just all the fitment and I just really didn't see many errors with this thing. Except this thin deck, I don't like that. That's about, you know, that's the, you know, the, the stamped deck. Got areas there where it's going to collect uh, dirt and debris. That's what I didn't like about it. So that was the ZT1 42 inch deck. Now we're going to take a look at a uh, 48 inch deck. I'm sorry, a 46 inch deck. And this is the same price, $36.99, 46 inch deck. Now this one does have that Kohler 22 horsepower 7000 series engine. And one thing I noticed on these Cub Cadets was that the thickness of the frame was actually pretty impressive. I was impressed by how thick it was. It looks like I'm going to get, what is that, two and a half inches there, square tube. Uh, for a residential unit, this is very high quality built, in my opinion. The frame, I just, I like the way it's all laid out. There's that Kohler 22 horsepower, 7,000 series motor. The seat, again, with the small battery, but all the switches, uh, pretty easy to get to. Fuel tank, easy to access, easy to clean out. I'll show you that later. Got a hitch here. Let's check out these transmissions. Same transmission as the other model. Same clutch, I bet. Everything's probably the same. And here's what I learned that was surprising to me is these models, these ZT1 models, both come with a warranty of three years and unlimited hours. The thin deck here, as I'm showing, that's the only drawback, which you should be okay. As long as you're cutting high enough, I'd say three inches at least. And as long as you don't hit something, you should be okay with that deck. 
Here's another good look at it. And the casters look really high quality, very wide. There's grease fittings for those bearings. And again, that's the drawback. I just don't like this deck. Now let's take a look at a higher end model. This is the Ultima ZTX4, 48 inch deck on this model. This is kind of a high end residential mo model, uh, entry level commercial. Basically the ZTX adds commercial grade components. This chute felt really good, rubbery. Uh, one thing I liked about it, the deck, it's not super thick. I'd say probably about 3 16 inch thick. But there's some features about this deck that I'm going to point out to you real quick. I'm going to open up. You can see all these braces right here. I'm going to open up the foot plate and also how flush mount the spindles are. That's going to make this deck clean and resist corrosion for a lot longer. And another thing I'm going to point out, these braces right here, welded in, that's going to drastically increase the durability of this deck. And it looked like they re even ran them all the way around the spindle, which I'm going to show you here in just a second on this side. Nice little foot plate there, metal, uh, metal cover there. Again, nice flush mount. I'm looking at all the quality, everything looks really good on this unit. Got a fuel gauge there, nice seat, the seat looked very quality. I really liked the instrument panel, everything was easy to get to. I had to put down the phone here just a second because this took two hands to do. We're going to lift up this seat and take a look underneath. Again, with the small battery, uh, large gas tank on this one. Easy to get to. Some information here. I love it when they have ID tags, information tags. Easy to get to. And right here I'm showing how easy you could suck out any dirt and debris that gets in that tank with like a fluid extractor. And before I show you the engine, I noticed these little uh, cushions here, kind of like springs. They look like rubber, but they're actually a really hard plastic. All right, so this one has the 23 horsepower Kohler 7000 Pro V-Twin. I like this frame. I'm going to take a look at the transmissions. This also comes with the Hydro Gear ZT3100 hydrostatic transmission. This mower is rated up to 12 acres. And again, this is coming in at $6,500. Aeroforce fabricated deck is what they're calling the deck online. And I'm just looking at all the welds and things. It looked like a very high quality built unit. This is the deck height adjustment cam. It didn't look to be very sophisticated. Uh, I'm not saying it's low quality. It just looks simple, but maybe it just needs to be simple. While the ZT1 models have a three year unlimited hours warranty, this one comes with a four year, 500 hour warranty. However, it's got a limited lifetime warranty on the frame and the deck shell. So the dealer that I was at didn't have an RZ142, but since they come in at $38.99, I thought it would be worth mentioning it. It comes with a 23 horsepower Briggs V-Twin, Hydro Gear ZT200 transaxles, and it claims a 42 inch commercial grade deck. What they did have in stock is this RZ152, coming in at $56.49 with four wheel suspension system. We'll show you that here in just a moment. But this is a pretty clean little mower. Looks like a very high quality deck, metal covers on the spindles, fabricated deck, flat top there. Has a knob here to remove that foot plate. Very nice, durable finish on the foot plate there. 
Deck look really nice. About looks like about three sixteenths inch thick. Uh, this shoot felt felt very high quality, like just like rubber, as opposed to the shoot on this one that feels more like a hard plastic. That rubber shoot isn't going to tear up. It's going to last longer. It's not going to tear stuff up. Uh, it does have this deck lift with the pin. I don't. I'm not really a fan of that. Uh, this plastic looks like it's gonna it's gonna get dirty pretty easily, and it kind of has a texture to it. Uh, the seat, the seat felt really good. Stitching looked really good. A little hole there to let the water out in case it gets rained in. The engine is a Briggs and Stratton 25 horsepower. Here's some of those rear shocks. They look really nice. Lift up the seat. It's got a big battery in it as opposed to the Cub Cadet with those smaller batteries. A little tougher to get to cer certain things. Uh, one thing I just noticed, it had USB ports. That was pretty cool. Right here, little USB ports. But other than that, pretty easy to get to most of this stuff. I like having the fuel tank underneath the seat like that. You could pull up that fuel pickup tube. A nice, nice console here. This throttle felt really good. So there's another look at the Briggs & Stratton engine. I do like how the rear metal comes up high enough to protect the plastic intake manifold. There's a nice exhaust there, nice heavy bracket behind the exhaust. And these units come with the Hydro Gear ZT2800 transmission. So the seat has cushion springs as well. Also, this unit has the four suspension, four wheels suspension on it. You see a plastic piece right there. So that beam goes all the way across and it kind of pivots right here on this bolt side to side. Casters are nice and wide. Greasable bearings there as you can see for those casters. Overall I really like this mower coming in at 46.49. So next up just like we did on the Cub Cadet let's take a look at the higher end steel version and we got the RZ261 coming in at 74.49. So this would be comparable to the Cub Cadet ZTX4 uh, that was coming in at $64.99. All right, so this model here, this is a whole nother level as opposed to like the RZ150. Got this nice deck here, fabricated deck. I'm gonna go around here. Uh, got a bigger engine. Still have the four wheel suspension. There's the uh, 152 right in front of it there. Nice exhaust, high quality looking muffler, and there's a 25 horsepower CXI Briggs and Stratton. That's 26, 25 horsepower at 3600 RPMs. Nice bumper here, nice thick. I like the the finish on everything is really good. The paint, everything. I just don't think the plastic sides are going to hold up to dirt. There's a nice foot pe uh, foot plate there, metal cover. And as you saw there, there was a tag that's saying this has a three year or 500 hour warranty. Uh, throttle felt really good. I just like the layout. It's simple, smooth, sleek, looks pretty good. But I think if I were to compare these two, I think I would go with the Cub Cadet. So the dealer I was visiting during this video didn't have any of the X Mark Quest models. They have an E series, S series, and X series. But even though I didn't get to see them in person, I went ahead and pulled up the specs online and I did get to see an X mark that we're going to compare to the other two models within the same price comparison. But first, let's, let's take a look at these X mark Quest models. So the Quest models are the E-Series coming in at $38.99, the S-Series coming in at $4,999, and the X-Series coming in at $6,099. Now they all claim to have welded decks and commercial grade tires, but let's look at some of the differences between these two. 
With the E-Series, you get a 22 horsepower Kohler, and on the transmission, you get the ZT2200. On the X series, I'm sorry, the S series, you get the 24 horsepower Kohler KT735 and the ZT2200 transmission. And on the X series, you get the same 24 horsepower Kohler KT735 engine, but you get Hydro Gear ZT2800 hydros. The warranty on the Quest series is a three-year limited warranty. Now, this dealership did have a Radius E series that I want to show you guys, and it comes with a four-year limited warranty. Price is as they start off at sixty-five ninety-nine. This one was seventy-one ninety-nine. Now, as I'm looking around at this mower, I, I do like the build quality of it. I'm not a big fan of the colors, but that's not what matters. I do like how. They have the battery right there. I'm not sure why I like having the battery right there, but easy access. It's all about function, and it looks like the fuel tank is underneath that seat right there. But I was drawn to the you know this rear end and this cast intake, which I was like, who makes this motor? And it looks like it's a actual X Mark made engine. And I did a little research on here online that it has 24 and a half horsepower. Um, this model also has a seven gallon fuel tank and while I was there I was just trying to fill, zoom in on some tags to see if I could see if it was manufactured by someone else and if you notice there it says Toro because Toro actually makes Xmark or Xmark is a sub company of Toro we got the ZT2800 transmission Warner PTO clutch I just wasn't sure about that that shield underneath the muffler being so low. I just feel like that's could cause some problems. All right, guys, my final thoughts on these three different brands, the Cub Cadet, the Steel, and the X Mark, they were very close contenders. As far as like the build quality, overall, I guess I would have to give that maybe to X Mark. I did like, and I was very impressed with Cub Cadet's build quality. It looked really good. Um, let me break this down into like the 3600, uh, $3,699 to $3,3899 uh, price range. Let's compare those models now. So what I did is I wrote down everything. I mean, it really came down to the deck build, the transmission engines and all that. Because like I said, I think the overall quality, it was a pretty fair fight amongst them. So right here, I'm comparing the Cub Cadet. Ultima ZT1 46 inch. You can get a, I believe it's a 42 inch for $34.99, but Cub Cadet's already beating out this, so I figured we'd compare this model here. And we're comparing it to the Steel RZ142 and the X Mark Quest E Series, and that, that's coming in at $38.99, just like the Steel. So Cub Cadet wins the price range. For being the lowest uh, cup cadet however even though if you saw in that video where it looks like it's fabricated and on the website it says fabricated 11 gauge deck in my opinion it looks more like a stamped deck uh, but the overall winner on that front would be the x mark it's got a welded 10 gauge deck now then we're up to the transmissions in the cup cadet you can get the ezt 2200 and the steel RZ142 it comes along with the same transmission the ZT it, it's not the EZT I don't know what the E is for but it comes with the ZT2200 and the X mark is coming in with the ZT2100 transmission next up on the engines Cup Cadet has the available Kohler so does X mark so they both get a point on that one and as far as horsepower, still came in at the highest with the Briggs & Stratton at 23, but we're just one horsepower behind on the Cub Cadet and the Xmark. Uh, Cub Cadet comes in with the biggest fuel tank at 3.5 uh, gallons, not horsepower, uh, but it comes at 3.5 gallons. Here's where Cub Cadet seems to take off with the lead. It comes in with a warranty. Everybody comes in with a three-year warranty. 
it's uh, limited right here because it's kind of confusing. You know, you feel like you're reading something like you're about to get sued from the court when you're reading the warranty information. It just says limited on the hours. On steel, it says 500 hours. Three years, 500 hours. Cub Cadet takes it for the win there at unlimited hours. Three years, unlimited hours. It even says that on the website. So with all this, let's factor in some other things. Uh, the X Mark does come in with some commercial grade tires. So the winner clearly in this department is the Cub Cadet with five total points, Steel with one, and X Mark with three. But if you're needing a bigger, stronger, more capable mower and you have a price range of 6,500 to 7,500, here are those models from the Cub Cadet, the Steel, and the X Mark in that price range. So the Cub Cadet Ultima ZTX4 versus the Steel RZ261 versus the X Mark Radius E. All right. Price, Cub Cadet takes it for the win, coming in at only $64.99 versus $74.49 versus $7,000 for the X Mark. The deck, I really liked the deck on the Cub Cadet. I think it was the highest quality. It's called the Aero Force Fabricated, is what they call it on the website. Transmissions, you get the ZT3100 in the Cub Cadet, as well as the same transmission in the steel. RZ261, you get the ZT3100, but in the Xmark Radius E, you only get the ZT2800. As far as engines, with Cub Cadet, you get the Kohler 7000 Pro. With steel, you get a Briggs & Stratton, and with Xmark, you're getting the Xmark brand. It does have that cast aluminum intake that I did like. I'm, I'm going to give it a point for that one, as well as the point for the, Cow the Kohler uh, having the, the 7000 Pro. Now the Briggs comes out again a winner just like in the other category had the highest horsepower. The Briggs has 25 horsepower on the steel. Next up is the X Mark with the Radius E has 24.5 horsepower and our Kohler is coming out the, the lowest end with 23 horsepower. The fuel tank X Mark takes the win with 7 gallons uh, steel only had a three gallon, but the Cub Cadet deal, still does meet in the middle there with a 5.5 gallon fuel tank. All right, so here's where we pull away again with, with the Cub Cadet is this warranty. We get a four year versus everyone else has a three year. Uh, 800 hours, and that's commercial use. Commercial use, guys, uh, versus 500 hours on a steel. And again, we're reading something from our lawyer. Limited hours, we don't know what's going on with that. Here's another th extra points on the Cub Cadet. The frame has a lifetime limited warranty as well as the deck shell has a lifetime limited warranty. So that gives the win for the Cub Cadet in the $6,500 to $7,500 price range with eight points, two points for the steel and two points for the X Mark Radius E. And once I've looked at all the models, I'm going to kind of compare everything over all the models that I, uh, like Bad Boy, Skag, Bobcat, John Deere in the first video, and then in this video, and then the final video, hopefully we have Husqvarna, Kubota, and Toro. And then I'll pick my personal favorite out of all those models, and then we're going to start getting into the residential lawn tractors. So anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video. Hope it helped you, helped you guys out. If you're looking at one of these mowers, uh, look at some of my other videos. Hit that like button, but also please hit that subscribe button, and I'll have more videos like this coming soon, guys. Thanks.